weather and climate? Well, first off, weather is um, the status of a in location at a given point anywhere on Earth in short terms. So it could be for one day, maybe a week. Climate, on the other hand, is the status of um, the weather over a long period. So in Miami, for example, it's very moisturous and very hot almost all the time. So that's the climate. But sometimes in like this January, early January, it's extremely cold. That was weather just because of the cold season. Also, jet streams are narrow passages of um, air going through top of the stratosphere. They go in a specific pattern called global patterns and they go different ways. That's why the Antarctic is cold and etc. Also that's why we have extreme fast winds, hurricanes forming and other weathery like. Now we're going to talk about the measurable terms of weather and climate. Well there's a lot of tools that scientists use to for example uh, rain gauges used to see how much um, inches or centimeters of rain, whatever conversion you want, have fallen in a certain amount of time, usually a week. They put it on the floor, they see the difference of how much rain has fallen. Also, um, for example, barometer, wind, pr I mean air pressure at a given point, usually used in colder places. Also, temp a thermometer, like most of you know, is used to um, find the temperature in either Celsius, Fahrenheit, or Kelvin. So those are the, we the measurable terms. There's also others, but I'm not going to go into those. All right, now we're going to talk about one of the most vital parts of weathering and climate period, the water cycle. The water cycle is a cycle of renewing water in different forms. Same matter, matter cannot be destroyed or created, but in different ways. First off, the most basic, the cryosphere, all the bodies of water in the, on Earth, and the biosphere, the bodies of life. But anyways, the sun's rays are very hot. They heat up the water in the cryosphere. The cryosphere evaporates into the air, forming clouds, and that's condensation and convex as well. Also, it rains afterward, precipitates, and the cycle renews. There's also several variables that can happen, like sublimation, desublimation. Also, it can run off icebergs and bump. That's also why the ozone layer in the stratosphere is starting to leave because of different pollutants that are in the atmosphere, in the stratosphere it is. Also, because of the rays that are going through, because we don't, the ozone layer is depleted, which is in the, which protects us from the sun's rays, um, causes more heat to accumulate in the atmosphere, also causing global warming, icebergs to melt, and the problem we currently have.